Iman Godzi. You've heard this name a hundred times, especially when people talk about motion design. His edits, his storytelling, his visuals, they stand out instantly. But here's the real question you might be asking. How am I supposed to learn Iman style editing? It looks extremely complicated. And honestly, I get it. Motion design is one thing, and we've already covered that in our previous videos. You guys loved those tutorials, gave amazing feedback, and asked for more content like that. But there's something else in Iman's editing that puts him on another level, something most people overlook. It's the way he uses AI illustrations, not just as pictures, but as full scenes. He turns a still AI image into a moment that feels alive, emotional, and cinematic. Today, we're breaking down Iman's AI illustration style. You're going to learn how to create this type of AI illustration, how to animate it inside After Effects, how to add depth, emotion, and camera movement, and how to make your visuals more attractive so they actually engage your viewers. No guesswork, no confusion, just a step-by-step -step breakdown. So today, we're recreating this exact scene. If you combine the financial struggle with doing things that suck over a long enough period of time, you will start resenting your career choice until it gets to a point where you don't even love the very thing you used to love anymore. And now you are stuck working with something you don't love and that pays you poorly. If you want more tutorials like this, comment below, like the video, and subscribe. It helps us create more free content for you. All right, let's dive into it. I've already separated the background, the man, and the hand in Photoshop. I used generative fill to complete the missing background. And I've also included all asset in the project description. Now let's jump into After Effects. Let's start by taking a new composition. And I'm making another folder and naming it as Asset. Now, let's import our images first. AI generated photos. And I'm importing it as composition and editable layer style. Drag and drop it into the main composition. Going into the comp, copy all the layers, and by coming back to the main comp, press Ctrl plus V to paste them. And delete the composition as we don't need it anymore. Just a minute, and I've also included the prompt for this illustration. In return, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and like the video. It motivates us to create more content. Now let's continue. Take a new null object, and selecting all these three layers, parent them to the null. Open the null's position, move it to the left, open its scale, and increase its scale, and adjust its position just a bit to the right and up. Now, make all of them 3D, and selecting the null, open its position, and move it back. And move it just a little bit to the right to fill in the empty space. Delete the null. Let's add some text. Taking the text tool, write financial. I'm using Seago UI and change the text style to bold and place it at the top right of the man. Now, search for transform and drag and drop the transform onto the financial layer. Add a keyframe for position at zero second and at one second, add another keyframe. Go back to the first keyframe and bring its position up. Selecting the keyframes, press F9. Going into the graph editor, select its right handle and move it to the left to make it slow at the end. Add a keyframe for opacity as well and make it zero. Add another keyframe at the last keyframe of position and make its value 100. I am placing the first keyframe of it at around half second and selecting the last keyframes, move them to the left to narrow the distance between the keyframes. Place the layer just before one second. Apply deep glow to it as well. Change its exposure to about 0.1. Duplicate the financial text layer and change its text to struggles and move it to the right. Change its font to Seago UI and text style to light. And move the start of the layer around one second and 10 frames. Moving to our next step, taking the pen tool, draw a curved line. Going into its content, shape one, stroke one, add dashes to it, and increase the dashes size. Add trim paths to the layer as well. At the start of the layer, I'm going to make its end 79 and change its offset to 74. 
Add a keyframe for the end property at 0 seconds. Moving forward 10 frames, increase its end value to 100. Add a keyframe for the offset and another at 1 second, and change the offset value to 317. At the first keyframe, make the end 0. And selecting both the offset keyframes, move them forward. Place the start of the layer at 10 frames. The animation is too fast. Increase the distance between the keyframes more. Apply deep glow to it as well. And change the exposure to around 0 0.1. Now, duplicating the financial layer, place it above the shape layer. And I'm changing the shape layer's name to dashed line. Place the duplicated text layer on the other side. And change the text to doing. Duplicating once again and change text to things. Open its position and bring it to the right. Do these steps to complete the sentence. Selecting both doing and things, change their font to light. Adjust the spacing between the words. Duplicate the dashed line, place it above the sucks text layer, and bring it to the other side. Going into the dashed line 2's content, shape 1, path 1, change its shape. Place the second dashed line at around 2 seconds. And selecting all these text layers, place them at exactly 2 seconds and place them sequentially. I'm also increasing the distance between all these keyframes by pressing Alt and dragging them to the right. Now, let's make a little animation of our hand. Rename the layer 1 as Hand. Where dashed lines start appearing, Take the Puppet tool and add points on the hand. At 1 second, select the point on the fingers and move it up. At 2 seconds, bring it back down. Make sure the movements are subtle. Again, move it just a little bit up. And then, once again, move it down. Now let's make just a little bit of movement for our man as well. Taking the puppet tool, add points on head, neck, shoulder, arm, lower back, and chair handle, the other hand as well. At seven seconds, move the head down and the hand as well. At eight seconds, copy the first keyframes and paste them here. Selecting all these keyframes, I'm going to move them to the right. I think this will be good enough. So now let's add our next text. Duplicate the doing text layer and place it above our dashed line too. Open its position by pressing P and move it down. By pressing R, open its rotation and rotate it just a little bit and change the text to AM. Selecting it, I'm going to change the font to Sego Script and duplicate the AM text layer by pressing Control D and change it to I and repeat the steps to complete the sentence. Am I in the right place? Selecting all of these text layers, make a pre-comp of them. And opening the comp scale, reduce its scale slightly. Adjust its position. Going into the comp, place all the layers sequentially. Cut the composition where first layer starts and delete the first part, and move the comp to around 6 seconds. I'm decreasing its size to 65. Now let's also add a line for this one. Taking the pen tool, draw a line Change its color to red. 
Add deep glow to it as well. Reduce its exposure to around 0.2. Add trim path to it. Place the start of the layer at 7 seconds and make its end 0. Add a keyframe. Move forward a second and make its end 100. I'm moving it just a little bit up and I'm adjusting the line's shape as well. Selecting its keyframes, press Fn plus F9 to easy ease them. Now at 8 seconds, coming to our background layer, apply tint effect to it and make the amount to tint 0. Add a keyframe, and at around 9 seconds, change the value to 100. Selecting both the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them. Once again, taking the pen tool, draw a line below the Things That Sucks layer. Increase its stroke size to 4. Going into Content, Shape 1, Stroke 1, change its butt cap to round cap. Place the start of our layer at 11 seconds. And copy the trim path of our shape layer 1 by pressing Ctrl plus C and paste it onto this layer by pressing Ctrl plus V. Selecting its keyframes and going into the graph editor, add curve to the second keyframe. Selecting the second keyframe, move it to around 13 seconds. Now duplicate this layer and move it below our financial struggle layer. Going into its content, shape one, path one, adjust its size. Move it to around 14 seconds. Make a pre-comp of our financial struggle and dashed line layer and make a pre-comp of other text layers and their dashed line. Make all of the layers 3D. Let's set up our 3D scene now. I'm moving the background just a little bit backward and also this line to the back as well. And this text comp to the back and a bit down as well. And let's move this text comp a bit down as well. I am renaming all these text comps as text1, text2, and text3. Now let's import our overlay. Drop it into our main comp. Right click on the layer and go to time, time stretch, and change its duration to one minute. I'm changing its mode to add and its opacity to 10. Now that our scene is done, let's add a camera and a null object. Make the null 3D and parent the camera to the null. Now let's get started with our camera movements and move it to the right. Around two seconds, add a keyframe for position and moving forward 20 frames, add another keyframe and move to the left. Selecting both these keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them and go into the graph editor. We will add just a little bit of curves. Move the second keyframe to the right. Add another keyframe at its position. Go into the graph editor. Select this keyframe and auto bezier it and move it to the left. Right click the keyframe and change incoming velocity to 75. This one's outgoing velocity to 75. By pressing Ctrl plus D, duplicate the null. Delete all the keyframes. Add a keyframe for position just before the last keyframe of the previous null. First, let's adjust the positions of our underlines. Moving them backward using the Z axis and placing them just below the text. Coming back to our null, parent the previous null to the new null, and at 16, add a keyframe and move the X position to the left. Duplicate the null by pressing Ctrl plus D. Pressing U, open its animated keyframes and delete all its keyframes. Pressing Alt, click on the stopwatch and add expression 1, 5. 
and make sure to parent the previous null to our new null. I am changing the position of our second null a little bit. To fill in this empty space, add motion tile effect to the background and increase output width. Check the box for mirror edges. And for the last step, take a new adjustment layer, add Gaussian blur to it, and make a mask around it so the blur is only on the right side of our scene. Make it 3D as well and adjust its position. Now, time to see our final product. I hope you like this tutorial. See you in the next one.